friends it's already day seven of our 30-day series on how to heal your relationship with food can you believe it today we're going to be talking about food labels specifically when we call foods good or bad okay so many of us do this i used to do this all the time calling foods good or bad and essentially ascribing moral value to food is a non-starter for having a good relationship with food because at the end of the day food does not have moral value only actions and humans have moral value okay Food does not have moral value. I don't know how many times I need to say that, but let's talk about examples. Food is not good or bad. Certain foods are more nutrient dense and more nutritious than others. And certain other foods are just like literally less nutritious. That's really how I recommend you look at it because even ultra processed foods, even Oreos and chips and burgers and pizza and candy have a place in our relationship with food and our eating habits if you want them to. Okay. And, and I think it's very reasonable that all those foods can be a part of your diet, not the majority of your diet, but they can definitely be a part of your diet. And they're a part of mine too. Your homework for today is to challenge the good and bad food labels. So I want you to write down a list what are the foods that you would label as being good? Then write another list. What are the foods you would label as being bad? And then I want you